Hey there guys, this is NDM here, bringing another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. Okay, so in the last episode, we made it all the way down to the bottom of this route here. And in this episode, we are going to progress on further into this route. Um, I have started my new LP today. It is an LP that I've already mentioned before. Um, it's not Mario Galaxy, sadly, because the cables haven't arrived yet. And the reason why I wanted to start this new LP is because... Um, is because I haven't... Uh, started well. It's it's because the cables haven't arrived. It, yeah, it's because the cables haven't arrived, and I've been waiting on those for way too long now. And I'm I'm just I just don't want to get I just don't want to keep getting your guys' hopes up and saying that oh yeah I'm gonna be starting Mario Galaxy soon and all this, and then I never do. It's just because these friggin' cables haven't arrived, and I don't want to keep saying all oh, these cables are gonna arrive tomorrow or these cables are gonna arrive the next day or, and the next day and then the next day and then the next day. Because if I keep doing that, I'm just going to get you guys' hopes up, and I don't really want to have to end up disappointing you all the time. So, I'm just going to start this new LP, and I'm going to go ahead and do it. And it is a short game, so if the cables happen to arrive when the game finishes, then okay, I'll start the next LP after... I'll start Mario Galaxy after my new LP that I've started today. But, for now, I'm just going to stick with this LP that I've decided to do. Um, it is a short game, so I guarantee you, because I know these cables have been taking forever to arrive, and I guarantee that by the end of this LP, the cables probably will have arrived. Which means then I can get Mario Galaxy done, which I've been waiting for since Ocarina of Time. Trust me, I've been waiting that long to do this LP, and I can't do it now. Well, I can't do it because I haven't got the cables yet, so... I'm going to surprise you. I'm not going to keep mentioning when these cables are going to arrive. I'm just going to surprise you one day and I'm going to upload Mario Galaxy. So then you guys can get all excited about it. And yeah, that's how I'm going to do it. And that's how I've had I've been thinking about it these past few days and I've come to the conclusion that I'm just going to surprise you guys with the Mario Galaxy LP. I'm not going to announce it or anything. I'm just going to surprise you. Cuz I think it'll be nicer that way to do it like that just to surprise you because I know I've been waiting for this LP to be done for a long time and I'm pretty sure you guys have all been hyped up for it too and it'd be nice just to surprise you with it even if it does mean that doing three LPs is gonna have to be the necessary option then yeah I'll do three LPs I have no problem with that it's just that the videos will be a lot more shorter until one of the LPs are finished and Pokemon Fire Red is obviously gonna be the first LP that gets finished I think or maybe even the LP that I started now might get finished before I finish Pokemon. Who knows? But yeah, uh, it's been decided. Anyway, um, I had fun with it. It was good fun starting that, and that means we got ourselves a whole new adventure to look forward to. Pidgeotto. Oh god, we got us a Pidgeotto. And it's gonna get Thunderbolt. Thunderbolted. Right in its feathery ass. Its health is gonna go down miraculously. And we gain 702 EXP from it, so that's good. Yeah, the EXP here for it is pretty good from the trainers, but from Wild Battles, the, the EXP is just so terrible. Like. <laughs> Especially because I wanted to go grinding. You know, I said I was going to go grinding about two videos ago. Um, the reason why I didn't go grinding is because the EXP is so scarce. And it's so... Oh my god. What the heck? You can actually catch a Gyarados without evolving a Magikarp? Well, hell, why would you want to evolve a Magikarp when you can just blatantly catch a Gyarados? Uh... Should I catch it? Because I'm never going to use a magic car, am I? Uh, I could try. <laughs> I don't know if in this game you can actually catch a red Gyarados. I think that's Pokemon Crystal and Pokemon Gold and Silver. You can catch a red Gyarados. Whereas in this game I don't think you can. And the red Gyarados is actually harder to catch than the normal Gyarados. Because it's like a legendary kind of Gyarados. Because it's only one of a kind. 
like shiny Pokemon. Shiny Pokemon are technically legendary Pokemon because you don't often come across le shiny Pokemon. And it's like one in a billion chance you'll ever find one. One out of a billion. I found a shiny Pokemon on Emerald on my Game Boy Advance cartridge without using any Game Shark codes. And I was surprised to find one of those. But. I don't think they have shiny Pokemon in this game, to be honest. Like, how's it? How did he get confused? I don't even have a confusion move to make the Pokemon confused, unless he got confused by fatigue by using one of his stupid dragon thrash moves or whatever. And he's breaking out from all my balls. My balls aren't sexy enough for you, Gyarados. Apparently, you just like breaking them. Breaking my freaking balls. Yeah, well, guess what? I have backup. And I'm not going to bother catching it, actually. I might as well just kill it. <laughs> we might get a lot of EXP from this, actually. I don't know. But we are about to find out as Darth Vader uses the Force and kills Gyarados. Because the Force is too powerful for the Gyarados to comprehend and withstand. So it's now dead. We're getting 351 EXP from it, so that's pretty decent. <laughs> we got us another trainer here. I'm too. I'm to, I'm told I'm good for a kid. Oh. What do you mean by that? You're told you're good for a kid as being a Pokemon trainer, or in behavior kind of situation? I don't know. Why am I looking too deep into this when I should be battling this Pidgey? Which is absolutely going to kill me because I only had 5 HP left. And his attack power was over 9,000. No. <laughs> Pidgey's power wouldn't be over 9,000. It's only level 24. And why did I use Flash? I don't know. And its attack even missed. So what was the point in using it? Oh, well, it didn't even take that much damage anyway. Because <laughs> you know what? I have Thunderbolt. And guess what Thunderbolt is? Super effective against your ass. And your ass is about to be burnt to the ground. Or fried to the ground. Picnica Susie, was it? Yeah, Picnica Susie. Well, if you're a picnicker, I deserve a bacon sandwich or a ham sandwich with cheese. Considering you're going on a picnic, right? What a nice environment to go on a picnic where a bunch of Pokemon trainers are hanging around. Obviously, one of them is about to want to, is begging to challenge you. Like, you, you could be sat down having your nice sandwich, and then suddenly some trainer comes along and says, Hey, stop eating that sandwich, put it down. I challenge you to a do 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 And then you're like, Oh, go away, I'm trying to eat my sandwich. And then they're like, No, you're not eating your sandwich because, because I challenge you to a duel. And you're like, Go away. <laughs> I'll use my repel and I'll spray it in your eye socket. So then you become blind. And I don't think electric is going to be very effective again. Oh, I killed it though, so that's, all, that's what matters. That's all that matters. And then the picnic because someone's raids you to um, hug the uh, hug the Pokemon trainer to distract him and then the Picnicker kicks the Pokemon trainer in the balls and then the Pokemon trainer writhes in agony as he clenches his ball sack uh, slam slam you slam dunk Slam dunking on your ass. Oh, I lost. Yeah, you just realized that, didn't you? You just realized that you got your ass kicked by me. Oh, God. We got a maze here. It's like, um... I don't know what this is like. I'm trying to think of a reference here. Oh, jeez. Oh, so I, I think this is a double battle, actually. But I'm not sure. Well, we're going to find out. Nope, it's just uh, one battle. Uh, Sheila.
Nice Clefairy you got there. Shame if something bad had to happen to it. Well, it's about to die anyway. It's only on. It's on the red already. Yeah, you use defense curl all you want. It's not going to make a difference. It's not going to make a damn difference. So don't even bother trying to use defense curl because I'll end up kicking your ass anyway. Because I have the power of over 9,000. And it's off the Richter scale. But the Richter scale uh, measures earthquakes. And I don't know why I'm referring um, Thundershock to an earthquake. Stop using payday. I don't want your cash. I don't want your filthy money that you earn from a bunch of hookers, you stupid meow. Well, actually, no, you wouldn't earn money from a hooker. You would give money to a hooker. The hooker would be the one earning all the money. You'd be the one giving the money away. So, yeah, meow, if you're poor, you shouldn't have any money on you unless you're a hooker. That'd be a scary thought, actually. <laughs> meow, the hooker. Stop acting all flirt flirtatious. Calling me your calling me sweetie. Only my girlfriend can call me sweetie. Three hundred twenty eight EXP. Ow, my tooth! <laughs> I just banged that. F I just banged the cup on my friggin' tooth. I was gonna take a drink, and I banged the cup on my tooth. God, what is it with these trainers having Pikachus? They're trying to mimic me. They're trying to mime me. They're trying to copy it my every move. Yeah, well, I have a Raichu anyway, so a Raichu's like double the power of a Pikachu. So yeah, screw you, and well, not An <laughs> screw you, Angela. Yeah, screw myself. No, screw you, Lola. Yeah. That's what, was, that's what I was meant to say, not screw you, Angela. I was trying to insult myself, was I? <laughs> you little beast. Yeah, because I'm just from the... I'm from the movie Beauty and the Beast, and I'm the one who's beauty, and you're the beast. So yeah, go screw yourself. Uh, what does the sign say? Route 13, North to Silence Bridge. Okay. Uh, I don't know how many trainers are in this maze. Let me just get a good um, look around here. Oh god, there are loads of them. Holy crap. Well, I imagine there's a chest in here, so I'm gonna cut this tree down out of curiosity to see what's behind here. Because I don't want to leave anything unscathed. Uh, nope, there is nothing in here. Oh crap. My Raichu just grew to level 34 from that battle because he only had a little bit of EXP left to, get, to gain to level 34 anyway. So, yeah, is there any more trainers down here that that I have to take on before I go up to the like this part, like this side of the maze? Uh, I haven't battled you yet. Wow, your badges are too cool. Yeah, they're too cool for school, <laughs> as they would say. Uh, Picnicer, Valerie. Oh, I forgot that song. Oh man, what is it? Um, why don't you come on over, Valerie, or something? Oh, I forgot the song. Why don't you come on over, Valerie, or something? <laughs> yeah, some song that I can't remember the lyrics. My mum, well, ugh. my mum always used to play it all the time. That friggin' song. Alright, so we got someone here to take on as well. My cute Pokemon wish to make your acquaintance. What acquaintance would that be, I wonder? Gwen. Gwen? Gwen's a guy's name or dude's name. Why why have you got Gwen as your name? You're a girl. I I've I've not heard I've not I've never in my life seen a girl called Gwen. 
Maybe there is, I don't know. But Gwen seems like a more boyish name. I don't know. Well, there's Gwen Stefani, and she's a girl, I think. I think Gwen Stefani's a girl. <laughs> I'd so laugh if Gwen Stefani wasn't a girl. Because I haven't heard... No, Gwen Stefani is a girl. Yes, Gwen Stefani is a girl, not a guy. I haven't heard Gwen Stefani in a long time. <laughs> like, I haven't heard any of her songs. So yeah, I guess Gwen is a girl's name. I just thought Gwen was a guy's name, but then I thought Gwen Stefani, and I like, oh yeah, Gwen, Gwen Stefani. Pidgeotto, no. I don't want to change my Pokemon, I just want to use Raichu because I know- Oh, why the hell did I do that? Ugh, God. Seriously. Yeah, it's Keen Eye, it wouldn't even do any effect on it. Anyway, it's got its Keen Eye ability. Which basically doesn't reduce its um, accuracy, I think. Not its agility, its accuracy. And it's paralyzed, so that also helps. <laughs> but uh, Raichu is almost dead, sadly. Oh god, I, th I think almost all my Pokemon in my party is almost dead. Like, most of them are all deceased. Let me have a look, I want to see. Who, who is actually dead here and who isn't? I know Falco died in this episode. Vaporeon is also on the yellow bar, jeez. Darth Vader is pretty much the only one who's on the stronghold here. Everyone else is just biting the dust. But uh, I hopefully we'll make it to our next town before we actually die out here. I'm not going to lose, even if the wind's blowing my way. Well, yeah, the wind's going to blow the other way because I... By my farting gas. Yeah, the wind's going to blow in the other direction with my farting gas coming out of my butthole. Because all of your Pokemon are about to die by my Raichu. And none of them are going to kill my Raichu. Because that's not going to be possible. Because they're going to die before they t inflict any damage on me. Because I'm the one who's always going to get the first attack. Because I'm the higher level. And I'm more superior than all your other Pokemon. Because all your other Pokemon are weak. And my Pokemon are strong. <laughs> yeah. That's right. You know what would be a great move for Raichu to learn? Is Shockwave. But I have too many electric type moves. But, well, what else can Raichu learn besides electric type moves anyway? I could teach him uh, Shockwave. He's pretty much the only Pokemon in the party, party that could learn Shockwave. And I don't really want. S uh, well, Slam's quite a good move, but. Thundershock helps and Thunderbolt helps too. Especially against these types of Pokemon. Like the flying types. Wow, you're almost level 35. Jeez, you're getting all the way up there in the levels, I tell you. You was level 32, I think, when we started this video, and now you're level 35. Well, I guess we're grinding in videos then. <laughs> on the screen because this is basically all I want to do for grinding is get my Pokemon up to level 38 the same level as Flipper and we're almost reached that goal on the screen how crazy is that Oh, he caught me. He caught me. I was going to try and run behind him and see how many more trainers there were left for us to fight. But no, he caught me. He had eyes on the back of his head. And he had ears that can hear footsteps from... Uh, well, it's not as if I was a few miles away. I was right behind him. <laughs> Yeah, let's just say he has eyes on the back of his head. <laughs> yep, he has eyes on the back of his head. 
Oh, I'm gonna have a drink of my drink. No, right, you're not gonna pull through. You're gonna die. Yeah, I guess um, I can try using Vaporeon because I don't really want Dalfreda to take any more damage from this. I'd rather have Vaporeon take on all these and get. Well, Vaporeon needs some EXP anyway. It's only level 26, making it the lowest Pokemon in our party. What happened to Pigmonk anyway? Did he die? I, I can't remember when he died. I think he died in the last video. He must have done. I think Pigmonk's in the level 30s now anyway. Like, I don't think he's level 28 anymore. <laughs> oh, let's kill this coffin and then we get ourselves another extra level, I think. Or we'll be close to getting an extra level. Definitely. Let's see. Oh, he's confused from fatigue, I think. Oh, no, he just generally became confused. I guess what? Yeah, because Water Pulse is a move that also comes with confusion. So if you uh, use Water pl Water Pulse, sometimes the confusion ailment will uh, be inflicted on the opposing Pokémon by using the move Water Pulse. And yeah, we did gain ourselves another level. We are now level 27 for Vaporeon, and we're also on the red bar now. <laughs> Dang, stripped gears. All right, so how many more trainers are there left? Oh god, we got to sell some more birdmen. More birdmen. Yep. You need to use TMs to teach good moves to Pokemon. Yeah, I was thinking of teaching Shockwave to Raichu, but Raichu's dead anyway, so <laughs> doesn't really matter. I'm just going to have to fight our way through this by using Vaporeon and Darth... Oh, well, well, summon Darth Vader out first, then I might as well just use Darth Vader throughout this whole entire route. If we die, I'm going to be so disappointed. I'm going to be disappointed in myself for letting all my Pokemon die like that. Dojo, I don't know if we've came across one of these before. But yep, Dojo, the two-headed bird. And it's about to be thrashed by my Darth Vader. Pidgeotto. Yeah, this is going to be a cakewalk, this. They haven't even took any damage against my Pokemon. And even if they did, they won't take that much damage away. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not worried. Yeah, keep on coming at me with that stuff. I swear I had some super potions and I haven't been using them. If I have some super potions and I haven't been using them, then yes, I'm definitely going to kick myself for that. Because... Uh, I don't know, I could have used that on my Raichu. To be honest, I think I do. <laughs> yeah, I have seven freaking super potions and I have five revives. Um, well, I guess I could just use those super potions for these two Pokemon because I don't really want to use revives on any of those dead Pokemon when we're pretty much close to our next town already. So I'm just going to wait till we get to our next city. And just go to the Pokemon Center instead of using all those revives because I imagine those revives will come in handy eventually, like for gyms and stuff. Especially for the next gym because I have no idea what the next gym is in the next town. I think it's a flying type, but I don't know because I can't remember a flying type gym in this game. That's the problem because there are a bunch of flying type trainers out here on this route. So I don't know. We'll have to find out when we get there. Spiro. Well, they, these things are going down like wildfire. Uh, this is going to be a piece of cake, this. If, uh, I think Frash is like multiply used, so I think he'll use it again, I'm not sure. Well, we'll see. Does he use it? Yeah, that's right. Keep on coming out. Keep on using that stuff. 
wonder what it's going to summon next. Fero. Now, we haven't come across one of these before. And as you can gather, Spearow, Fero. Fero is the evolved form of a Spearow. Yeah, this giant bird thing. Oh, God, I've become confused due to f fatigue. Hopefully I can make it through this. Don't, please don't inflict yourself. Ah, oh, darn it. Well, Fury Attack is like the weakest move, and you just got yourself poisoned, so that helps. I, I get, I, I bet you. I'm, oh, thank God. Thought I was gonna die then, but I get, I bet that. Oh, maybe the poison might kill it. Let's see. Yeah, two times. Oh, by poison, kill it, kill it, kill it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And that's what I'm talking about. 901 friggin' EXP, man. Holy damn. You got ourselves 901 EXP, and we got ourselves to level 37. And I'm going to get myself healed here, because that's uh, kind of essential. <laughs> no, not on Vaporeon, you don't... Ah, oh, for... F no! I just wasted a, va a friggin' valuable. I just wasted a valuable super potion on a Vaporeon that was not even needed. Great, I just wasted a friggin' super potion on that thing. West to Fushisa. How long do we have left to get to Fushisa? Uh, let me see. Where's the map? Where's that map at? Town map. Uh, well, we're right near it. I don't know how long I've been recording for, though. So I might just battle these last two trainers down here. Wait, oh god, we got ourselves a bunch of bikers. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to... I think I might even have to make some cuts, I'm not sure. Like, I might have to start cutting out trainer battles. So you know what, I'll cut this battle out, and I'll cut the second battle out too, so I'll see you then. Hey there guys, this is Andy, I'm here bringing you another, another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. No, I'm joking. <laughs> okay, I just beat those two trainers. I think I'm going to have to cut out all those bikers as well, so... Uh, I don't know how many battles I'm going to be cutting out here. So... Well, we can do this battle, I guess. Yeah. It all depends how many Pokemon he has in his team. Let's see. Oh, he's got one. Well, that's not bad. I can show this. Yeah, it's, oh, he's got a Farfetch, and it's level 33. Hey, we have a Farfetch, but it's a lower level than that. And I'm also about to die. Uh, I forgot to heal myself. I should have done that before I came into this battle. Oh, thank God. I thought that was actually... Oh, it's critical hit as well. I thought it was going to actually kill me just then, but nope. <laughs> thank God for that. But uh, we're going to get ourselves uh, to a level 38. I thought I'd get a lot more EXP from that. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. 664 EXP. And that's like the highest Pokemon I've battled on this route. Level 33. Yeah. I mean, hell, you get more EXP from those Fearos. Alright, so I'm going to get myself um, healed up here. Patched up. Ready for some more trainer battles, I guess. That I'll be doing off-screen. For, well, the majority of these, because this this route right here has the most amount of trainer battles in the whole game, so it's kind of understandable that I'll be cutting out a lot here. So I'll see you guys after this battle. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, th he had a Fearer as well. That g that gave me a thousand EXP for killing that thing. Um, I don't know whether to show this because I th I think this is a double battle, so I might just show this. Yeah, because this is going to be interesting. I have a Vaporeon and I have a uh, I have a da well I <laughs> I have a Darth Vader and a Vaporeon yes <laughs> no I have um Vaporeon and Nido King but Darth Vader as I called it so uh, yeah I'm gonna use Thrash and I'm also gonna use Water Pulse yeah I can use Water Pulse and Charmander because that's gonna be super effective oh no why'd you do that oh you idiot Darth Vader you you're evil you know that you're not only evil in the movie but you're evil in this game as well.
Um, quick attack. Yeah, because he's going to keep using Thrash. Oh no, use Protect. Squirtle, use Protect. Why? Why must you do this to me, Squirtle? Why? Oh no. Right, that's... Um, fair enough. Fair enough. Use Protect. Use a condom. Use a condom for protection. I don't care. I, I, uh, oh, shut up, Lewis. <laughs> Kyra and Jan. Alright. So, yeah. Uh, we got ourselves a bunch of bikers up here, which I'm basically going to be cutting out all these battles. So, um, I'll see you all once I beat all these trainers. Because there's no point in me, you know, starting a new cut uh, as soon as I beat a battle and then like a few seconds after I've started the new, after I've started re-recording or resuming the recording, I end up going into another battle. So, I'll see you all after I've beat all these trainers. Yeah, I'll see you all then. Holy balls to the walls, guys. I am absolutely shocked right now. I managed to actually get Darth Vader to level 40. In, in all those battles, I got two levels for him. Wow, that's crazy. The amount of EXP that those trainers gave me was unbelievable. It was relentlessly unbelievable. The amount of friggin' EXP those things gave me. Jeez. Oh, crap. <laughs> Problem is, what the hell? Oh, no. Stupid wild battles. Okay, right, so I'm back. <laughs> after that stu after that weird wild battle, all I did was just turn... Just turn around. I didn't even move. I just turned around and then suddenly a wild battle came up. I was like, what? But uh, yeah, I got Darth Vader up to level 40 and I've also run out of super potions. So that's also some bad news I have for you. I have some good news and I have some bad news <laughs> that I've just shared with you. So yeah, we have no more super potions except from one hyper potion, which I really don't want to have to use. And this is a brand new route. So I don't know whether to just end the video off here and then do all this in the next episode, because then we can make it to our next town. So you know what, I will end it off here and continue on in the next episode. So in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red, I will be progressing on into Fujisa City, possibly having a look around, because this um, Route 15 isn't a very big route, actually. It doesn't have as many trainers as what Route 14 did. But, um, yeah, until then, take care, everybody. This is NDM saying thanks for watching. See you all in my next video. Uh, um, see you all in my next video. And... Yeah, goodbye.